There's a sail on the flat. Sail on the flat. That's a pair of slammers, boys. Nice fish. Reeling in the Keys with host Captain George Clark Jr. Good morning and welcome to Reeling in the Keys. I'm Captain George Clark Jr. And today we are heading out of Key West, the, the farthest southern point you can be in the United States, going out with Captain Pepe Gonzalez. Well, so uh, we have uh, adverse weather conditions. And, uh, we a little bit got, of weather. A little bit of weather. So we got a couple hours and we're just going to go out there and try to work real hard for a couple hours, see if we can make it happen. Sounds like the plan. Well, we're just up, tucked up behind this little island here, and Captain Pepe's got the net. We're gonna, I'm going to sneak him up in here with the boat. He's up on the bow. We're going to try to catch some of these pilchards that are laid up right uh, in the shallows up here. You smacked them pretty good this morning. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. We got lucky on the way out. We spotted some baits and uh, we threw a couple pancakes and uh, we're blacked out on the bait wells. We just pulled up to a spot. We got a little east current. The water color looks good. We got a whole well, uh, whole live well full of these beautiful pilchards. We're going to start slinging these pilchards out here and get these tunas to find us. That's kind of the target species right now. There's look, been... look, look at the bait here too, guys. Oh look yeah, bait water. shaking right here. Oh my gosh, what is that? Yeah. So what we're trying to do here is throwing a, a bunch of this live bait and trying to get the tunas to come up to the surface. And what I'm looking for is for them to actually bust on the surface. At that point, we'll put the baits on the water with the hooks and see if we can. So you want to you want to prime them and get them to go. Ideally, yes. You and then look, we have we have a boat over here hooked up, so that's always a good sign when you get to a spot. So we're gonna go ahead and, and, and get ready right now because it could happen right now. Got Here's me fired up. Oh yeah. Check your drag. Oh, oh. <laughs> something just popped up right here. Something just popped up. All right, so we're using small hooks to kind of, they're, yeah. uh, they're real keen. Yeah, they're, they're very shy, so we got a 30 pound fluorocarbon vanish, fluorocarbon leader. Now is it, to be is it gonna be like yellowtail fishing and we wanna feed this out here? Yes, sir, yes, sir. You, what you wanna do is free line it out there. Just keep it free line and hang on because when they hit it's a it's a it's a hit we're going to start off with just the 30 pound full carbon if if we can't if we're getting caught off non-stop some put we'll, some wire on yeah we'll steel. put some wire on and we'll put a, some light wire just to uh just to make sure that we can get some action going because you just never know it could be there definitely could be some waffles this time of the year here well we wouldn't uh we wouldn't be too upset about that either we got the wind coming from the east and the current going to the east. So we got the wind Holding against the here. tide and it's keeping us on station, which is nice because you can get some situations where every few minutes you have to, uh, you have to remove again and move again. And that just makes it more challenging. This is ideal. I just had another little hit right there. There's something big and black there. It looks like a barracuda. Oh, we got a big barracuda. Oh yeah. <laughs> got us here a little blue runner that just got chumped on here by the big barracuda which could have been what's been cutting us off as well see if she comes back and, and whacks on him again yeah he just got me again wow, cut look you at all again. that bait right there yeah yeah oh, look at the shark oh got yeah our shark right, right there, there. Too. big shark like, yeah oh took another nibble yeah well, definitely a ton of life here. There's sharks, there's barracudas, there's all sorts of stuff. Probably some King Macs. Yeah. Wahoos. And the tunas, we'll get them going. If they're here, they'll come up sooner or later. We'll we got them. enough bait to work it for a good for a good while. Dumping some of these. What's going on here is we're getting cut off a lot. And, and uh, most of it is going to be King Mackerel. I'm sure we got a lot of King Mackerel around here. But instead of just putting the uh, wire leader on so we can still catch the tunas, what I'm gonna use is a long shank hook. And hopefully we can still manage to keep them. With a long shank, the purpose of it would be for them to bite onto the hook 
and therefore not be able to cut your line and you can still catch the tuna. All right, you got so clipped shot. again. They got you again. Yeah. Here, try one of these. So that means they're eating it right behind the boat. That's a little bigger. Yeah, I, I still believe it's just a bonita though. I don't feel the, the power. I mean, even though the tuna and the bonita it's a little are different the same fight. family, even if they're the same size, you can totally tell when it's a tuna. The tuna has just got incredible. Big blue runner? Yeah, this is just a big blue runner actually. I mean, when we feed them in the, in the golf, behind uh -huh. the shrimp boats, they're stupid as hell. They'll come right out to the side of your boat and eat. But out here in the Atlantic, I've noticed on clear days that if, if you're trolling lines, uh -huh. if you don't have them way far away, they won't get nowhere near it. All right. Oh, Bonita. Bonita. I'm not getting. Bonito, blue oh, runner. That one came off or got eaten. Still fun to watch them just crash oh, baits. Yeah, like, no, I mean, it's still a fun bite. What's going on right now? Well, just but imagine you can being totally tell when the tuna's bust. A, a tuna bust on the surface is three times louder than that. You could, you could just hear. You don't even have to see it. And so far, right now, we've only got the bonitas up, but but we're staying hopeful. You know, usually the bonitas come up first, and then we get the other ones. This one's a little bit more suspicious. Well, I was gonna say, just imagine being from like the Midwest and you fish in a lake, <laughs> oh, you yeah. know, and then you come out with you and oh, yeah. chum these fish up. Oh yeah, and they're this fun to catch, a... you know. These don't get much funner than this, really. Well, the blue runners are swarming. Big blue runners too. Well, what's it? What's it like? living here with your wife and I know you have two boys. We live a simple life, you know, we live a very simple life. We get to go bike riding in the afternoons and we try to keep it as simple as possible. Yep. You know, try to see if my kids want to grow up and be fishing guides, that would be a plus, but whatever they choose to do, and as long yep. as they're happy, I'm all for it. Nice. Another blue? Uh, I think so. Blue by you? Blue by you. There's oh, a... look, I got a rainbow runner. Oh, those are cool. Good sushi. I got Mr. Big blue old, runner. Big old blue. <laughs> you got a world record blue runner right there. I don't think I've ever seen one bigger than that, my friend. Yeah, that's a good one. What we got here is a rainbow runner. They're not quite coming. They uh, yep. They just migratory fish, good eating, especially in sushi. So we're oh, yeah. to keep them. And there's millions of these, so we're trying to get through them, and uh, they're they're not allowing us to. But that'll change. It's going to change. We keep feeding them. We'll uh, we'll get a shot on the the ones that we want. That's right. We got plenty of ammo. Yep. We got the right ones popping up now. So now, we do we need to keep sprinkling? Yes, we need to keep them up on the surface. You see the splashes are much bigger. That's a oh, black yeah. band right there. Really nice size fish. Yeah. And I think they're uh, hungry. They're about <laughs> ready. They're just, they're smart though. You know, when that water's clear, you'd be surprised how they'll go around your line. And we got 30 pound floor carbon. I really don't try not to go any lighter than that, but sometimes you have to. So we might have to drop down to 20, but what happens, we'll have a lot of sharks here. So you gotta be able to put a little bit of drag on that on that reel so you can land this fish before the shark gets him. We're gonna get him up in this. We'll wind this up. Maybe we can fool him into. Yeah, this one died. My bait here died and if they're dead, they're just not going for it. They've seen that book before. Oh, Bonita. Bonita! I'm not getting. Bonito, blue oh, runner. That one came off or got eaten. Oh. Still fun to watch them just crash oh, baits. Yeah, like, I, know. I mean, it's still a fun bite, what's going on right now. 
Well, just but imagine you can being. Totally tell when the tuna's bust. A, a tuna bust on the surface is three times louder than that. You could, you could just hear. You don't even have to see it. And so far, right now, we've only got the bonitas up, but. But we're staying hopeful. You know, usually the bonitas come up first and then we get the other ones. This one's a little bit more suspicious. Well, I was gonna say, just imagine being from like the Midwest and you fish in a lake, <laughs> oh, you yeah. know, and then you come out with you and oh, yeah. chum these fish up. Oh yeah. And they're this fun to catch, a... you know. These don't get much funner than this, really. Well, the blue runners are swarming. Big blue runners too. Boom. That's a bonita. Right at the back of the boat here. Making a fool out of me. You ever catch big yellowtails and stuff like that doing this? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh, hello. Oh yeah, I know. Most definitely catch some big yellowtails with live filters. We need, we need, oh, oh, son of a bitch. Might have been a cooter or something. We need some color in this, in this, in this boat. We need some gold. Look at that, and I got the bite on the way in. We got plenty of ammo. I'm gonna go with Mahara. There you go. <laughs> Another bonita. Shark bait. Yeah. Little bonita. Little football. Pretty little fish. Good bait. smoking some line. Straight down, huh? Yeah. This one could be this. Oh! Good, <laughs> Good Lord Almighty. <laughs> Can't catch a break. That, 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 was, that was a great bite right there. You go. You're on. I had a bite too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh. That's the right one there, Bubba. <laughs> and he's off and running. <laughs> That's the right one there, Bubba. Doubled up. Doubled up. All right, Peppy. Got him going now. Well, after a bunch of tries and catching a lot of other things, we're doubled up now. And these seem to be the right ones. We had the tunas busting really close to the boat on those freebie baits. So. They finally found us and the predators have left us alone so far. Knock on wood. Oh. I'm going over the top. Oh, I see color. Right kind, buddy. Right kind. Yep. Look at it. They're jumping out of the water. Yep. Let me go. There you go. Bring them back to you. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, baby. Blackfin tunas on the light rods. I'll tell you yeah, what, man. these are nice fish. Look That's at that beautiful, beautiful fish. fish. Right there. We got more back here. Let's get we a got few sushi. more baits in the water. Let's keep them going. Pop them off. Leave them right there. And let's get this fish out on the surface because we got the weather moving in. Yeah. <laughs> Had to work hard for it this morning. Started off this morning with that gigantic storm on the radar. And uh, half my bait had died from the day before. Oh. So there was a lot of adversity and we overcame. And now here we are. And I'm gonna... up, but hey, this on that's the deck. life. Nobody said it'd be easy. No. You gotta work hard. Some days they make you work hard. Yes, sir. So you didn't give up. That's nope. awesome. Nope. Giving up is not an option. Just spread these freebies out so they're not all balled up. I'm 
gonna grab this one here. Nice, nice fish. Nice steady pressure. Trying to get him up away from the uh, predators down there. But at the same time, we're using such light leader and, and everything that you don't wanna overpower this equipment. That's so awesome though. See him coming, busting like that. You oh know? yeah, yeah. It don't get any better than that. No, I, I love it. Don't get no I love the visual that. bites like out here. Got him. Yeah, minnows can... getting just blown out of the water. Here they come. Throw another scoop close to the boat here. Oh! Shark got me. Ah. The sharky got me there. I could feel him coming up on it. And the shark got me unfortunately. That's just the, that's just what happens out here. So far we lost, I don't know, four or five tunas to the sharks. Uh, you can tell the shark, the tuna bite is much more different than the bonita. The bonita, when you hook them, not only are they not that powerful, but they will also come up on the water column. They will come up, they will, you'll fight them more on the surface. The, the tunas will always sound, they'll go straight to the bottom. So. It's a, it's, a, it's a pretty easy way to tell what you have on the line. There oh, they are, they they're jumping they behind come, the right boat right there. The Check frigate. out the birds. Frigate it's bird. It's about to happen, it's about to happen. It's about to happen here, guys. There you go. There you go, there you go. Oh! <laughs> I'm coming around the bow. Oh, I'm hooked up too. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, baby. Woo. Man, watch that rod tip. Watch how much power these fish have in their tail. They just. It really is amazing, isn't it? You want to have fun? Come do this. This is amazing. Where's he at? How you doing up there? Oh, I'm just having a ball. <laughs> you like it, huh? Got the right ones. Easy, easy now. Let's get his head up. Get his head up. Surface. All right. Sushi, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. One more. Gotta love the blackfin tuna, guys. Fishing not, not very deep. 120, 130 feet of water. Live bait, lighter tackle. You can't do much more than that to have fun here in the Florida Keys. Key West, Captain Pepe Gonzalez having a ball. One that always comes to mind that, uh, that it's almost too good to be truth, but it is truth. Uh, we were fishing, uh, catching some yellowtails, and we we're moving towards a wreck. Um, and as we're cruising along at about 20 knots, it was a, a bit of a bumpy day. I'm, I'm, I'm running alongside of a um, weed line. And as we're running, I look and I see a blue 50, ga 50 gallon drum, you know, one of those plastic 50 gallon drums. Right. And it so happens that the opening is aiming right towards me as I'm going by. I look in there and I could see two giant triple tails sitting inside the barrel. <laughs> and they're just taking shelter in the barrel. We could not uh, uh, get the, uh, uh, the triple tail to eat. So finally, I told my client, I said, what we got to do is get up behind the barrel and gaff the barrel right side up. And then I'm just going to scoop them out of there with a, with a, with a net. And my client uh, did not think that was going to work, but we didn't have any, any other option at that point. So I went ahead and did it, got the barrel right side up, and I was able to scoop them out of there like, <laughs> like, like fish in a pond. So that's, anyways, that's I like... ended up with like uh, two 15-pound triple tails out of the... Uh, out of the, the barrel. Drum. You know what they call that? Shooting fish in a barrel. That's exactly right. <laughs> That's exactly what happened that day. Well, we couldn't ask for more than getting out here for a couple hours. The sky's getting darker and darker by the minute. Um, there's some other boats out here. I think everybody's got the same notion to run, get get back in. We've got a little lightning around and stuff. But hey, thanks a lot, man, for uh, for getting us it out my here. Pleasure, man. And, uh, it was my pleasure. 
And, and for the viewers, you know, the action, when you do this style of fishing, you just never know what you're gonna catch. You might catch a sailfish, mahi-mahi, blackfin tunas, bonitas, cobia, we had cobia right there. Um, we just, seen a mahi get caught next to us. So whenever you live bait chumming like what we were doing, it really doesn't get much better than that. You can get anything really. I've seen, like you said, sails, anything. So well, we had and a short, short time out here today. We couldn't stay out here due to the the lightning Mother that Nature. is cracking right on top of us right now. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna start making our way back, but um, we made it happen. We got some quality fish on the boat. There's a place out on the ocean you Ain't on a map anywhere The captain's looking at the water He knows exactly where to steer No internet or Wi-Fi tower All that stress is gone The line's just went in the water And somebody yells, fish on And it's just another day Reeling in the keys We got that fishing feeling There's no place we'd rather be We're a million miles from nowhere but We ain't lost at sea Just loving life, living the dream Reeling in the keys 